My name is Claudia Godoy. I'm veterinarian. I work in, in the King Penguin Park. Is, um, the park is in Tierra del Fuego, in a new super bay and we are uh, working with the penguins and with the tourists for uh, when they do the visit, the visit uh, they don't uh, disturb a lot to the penguins why penguins? <laughs> okay uh, well uh, when I was young <laughs> younger I did the um, uh, I went to a course uh, of the bio uh, Antarctic biology and I'm not sure why the penguins because they talk about all of the wildlife maybe because uh, well they are seabirds and I I was uh, sometime watching uh, birds so and because they are uh, they are um, <laughs> beautiful birds but they are adapted very well to the to stay sometime in the in the on land and to live in the sea they have physiological things very very interesting for uh, breathe breath for they swim and they need to they can go for example the emperor penguin can deep dive the very deep 400 uh, meters so for do that uh, no human is possible to do that so it's very interesting and well some whales do the same but they are all the time on the sea and this penguin must to go to the on land and if you see the penguins when they are raising the chick they are thinking all the time to do that and I saw many things um, when they, for example, other birds predate the eggs or the chicks and they continue. They are very, in Spanish, is perseverante, the word. So they are continuing all the time and they, so I think it's, um, you can learn of them. Uh, how the, sometimes you have problems in the life, but you continue uh, living, <laughs> I think. It's, it's there. It's for for that. <laughs> okay. uh, the first uh, I did a um, course of ornithologist, like an ornith ornithologist, and then I did the the other course. Um, but I'm not. I don't know why I saw the penguins because I like a lot of whale the whales, but I don't know. I think I have a connection with them. When I was working with in Punta Tombo. And uh, one of the, um, the scientists there uh, said me you have a, a good connection with the penguins when, when I take, took them, uh, catch them, the penguins were very relaxed. And for example, when I was in Magdalena Island or in other places, uh, and when I was working with uh, students, and they didn't take or took a catch very well to the Magellanic penguin because it's not easy because they have a, like a, I don't know, but they can bite a lot with the, like a hook in the bill. So when they, they didn't uh, took very well and the penguin was a little disturbed or distressed, I feel very bad with the penguin. So I think maybe, uh, I don't know. I have in other life, other connection. <laughs> For example, in Magdalena Island, I feel very, very good there with the penguins. In other places, I don't feel that. So, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, usually, I, you don't think, or I don't think, why the penguins. Well, I'm working here from 2014, but I love penguins. <laughs> I work 20 years before with uh, Antarctic penguins, but just uh, from 2009 I was working. I began to work in in Argentina with Magellanic penguin with a North American um, project in Punta Tombo, 
and I was more involved in the conservation problem of them. Dee Bersma is a biologist from USA and with her I learned a lot. So how work with the penguins and more about the conservation. So when I came to Chile I began to study Magellanic penguin and until the last year I was working in Chilo Island, Magdalena Island, in Punta Arenas and in another colony, little colony is decreasing a lot. So here it's very different because it's not like the others, it's a new colony, it's a other species, it's a, for me it's a have two points. First is the it's more bio, the bio, it's increasing the biodiversity of Chile, of South America. Um, so they will adapt to here and we will see if they can adapt, a, how they will adapt for to have a new colony. But for the veterinarian point, it's very interesting because the some chicks die uh, have um, in the necropsy have a macroscopic finish of the infectious agents. So I did, well, I saw a lot of pathology things I didn't see before. And so for me, it's very interesting that. And it's interesting too because they can come and bring other agents are not here because no, the penguins didn't born here. They born in other colonies. So it's very interesting if you see the epidemiology and after in some years appear other virus or bacteria is not here or how they can adapt to the virus or bacteria of other wildlife because that is happening and um, it's not uh, easy to be to have the opportunity of stay here because uh, um, all the persons who work with the penguins must to go to other sites and have a expedition and a lot of money and here are so close and the owners of the park are understand this so it's, it's easy but it's a lot of work too but um, so for that I'm here uh, so the king penguin were here a thousand years ago and they were important in the culture of the Selenian people. We know that uh, because the archaeologists uh, work a lot with the, in the, all the historic sites of the Unusable Bay, but we don't know how many were or why they disappeared, if it was a natural cause or was other kind of uh, cause. But all the time were um, a report of the in the area in Argentina or Chile in Tierra del Fuego, but uh, just uh, they came back seven years ago to breed. So now is the only place in South America you can find uh, this penguin breeding here. Uh, at the beginning, were just a group of fifty to sixty and uh, the breeders were four to eight, no more. But uh, many persons uh, came to here and this is, uh, the penguins are in the private land. So they crossed the fence and take pictures, uh, took pictures <laughs> very close to the penguins and put hat or touch them. So the penguins um, decide to go a little more far away because we have a river here, it's a Marasi river, so they they went to the other side of the river and so the owners of the land uh, decide to create a park for protect them and it's an economic activity too obviously but we are a little sustainable sustainable I think mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have eolic uh, energy and we protect, we protect them uh, with the restriction when when the visitors watch the penguins.
not to be uh, more close than 50 meters of the penguins. Mm -hmm. So we have a good structure, a bench, and the tourist train have a little green rope for uh, like a limit. It's not a, 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 the idea is to have something uh, more natural. For that, it's not a good uh, a big tourist mm -hmm. train. So now we have more or less 100 uh, penguins and the population is increasing, the visitors, the molting birds and the breeders, but we have uh, 40 breeders now. Um, in this moment we have chicks and some eggs, uh, but uh, we have only the last year uh, one uh, uh, fledgling. So what, only one chick went to the sea and survived all the uh, when uh, all the race of the barn. So uh, we're protecting the penguins because from the 18 species, at, uh, more or less 60 percent have some conservation problem. This species doesn't have a, a lot of um, all the population doesn't have a conservation problem, but. They have in some location, uh, for example, in they you can find in Malvinas um, or Falkland Island, and they have uh, they are decreasing for the competition with the fisheries. In Crozet, they have problem with the climate climate change, so they are adapting here. So the idea is to know how they adapt to a new uh, environment. And uh, the other thing is they, they have here many threats. So one of the threats of the penguins here on land is the American mink. Uh, American mink was introduced in the 1960 and for, for um, work with uh, the, the, the skin but now is uh, producing a lot of problem in the wildlife of Tierra del Fuego. So before they predate some chicks of the king penguins. So we use this one for to know um, when is here and we can put uh, traps and because it's, uh, it's possible to kill them. And we use this one, it's used in infrared um, so, uh, and this uh, camera can can take many um, uh, videos or pictures when you want, and you can um, work with her, with with her, and then take the that was take the memory scan. Mm -hmm and check the pictures or the videos and see if the predator is when you are not um, watching them because you can stay all the time and they, they usually the American mink works or is very early or very late in, in when it's um, dark, more dark. Well, um, so the, um, the breeders put uh, eggs, they lay one egg put on the feet and cover with the skin uh, and they incubate two months the, the egg so the race is 13 months but um, here usually um, they for example we can have three or four abandoned eggs and 30 chicks more or less but all of them die other years and just the last season we have the first chick survival all the race and went to the sea so uh, but this uh, season is better because I'm I did necropsies and now I didn't do and uh, so we are uh, thinking this this year will be better for them so when the visitors are in the tourist trail we have um, a limit uh, and they must to walk slow and keep silence because in in some moments the, the penguins are more susceptible to our presence and for example there are other studies in other penguins and 
when they are disturbed for the tourists, they can lose the care of the chicks, and other penguins can be aggressive with the with the chicks and bite them, and sometimes the injuries are very bad and kill them. So for that, we need to say this information to the um, to the tourists, and all the tourists came here. We do the recommendation and we do information about the biology of the penguins too.